Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So, a little while ago I had a subscriber request for a twisting wrench, or uh, it wasn't really a request, more than a question. Uh, it was a question of where, you know, you can buy a twisting wrench. Um, and I mainly replied that I don't know of any sources for buying commercially made twisting wrenches. Usually they're made by the smith. So, this is the way that I make twisting wrenches. Um, I didn't get come up with this on my own. I just happened to see this at a craft school that I went to. Um, and it just seemed like the slickest, easiest way to make a twisting wrench. And, uh, you know, it just stuck with me. And therefore, I go for it. So generally for a twisting wrench, you need a wrench of some sort. I find these really cheap, generic um, wrenches that you can buy at Harbor Freight to be the best for twisting wrenches and then you know they're adjustable to quite a large size stock um, if you need to twist large heavy sections of bar stock this may not be your thing you may want to go with like a old F plumber's wrench um, or you may want to just make your own kind of specifically set wrench I may do a video on that in the future how to make um, that, that S curve kind of twisting wrench uh, it, it goes much like what you would think. But anyways, so this is how I make that. Sorry for the table slap. I was warned about that by a guy. Um, I forget. A couple weeks back. Anyways. Or it might have been a few days ago. Days are running together right now. Anyways. This is the way I make it. Essentially, all you need is a handle welded on the other side of the jaw about the length of the wrench. That's usually a good rule of thumb. And you want these handles to be parallel with one another. You don't want, don't want the handle to be like that. You don't want the handle to be like that. You want the handle to run parallel with the other wrench handle or right in line. Reason for that being the whole reason to have a secondary handle is so you can get an even torque or twist on the bar that you're working. So, a couple quick things to point out if you're going to use wrenches and you're going to do a twisting wrench or store-bought right here. Old F wrenches, you won't have to worry about this as they were not chrome-plated. These, however, are chrome-plated and it helps to go ahead and sand off the chrome plating where you're going to be welding. Um, you know, it just helps with the weld and... I'm not quite sure on this, but I have heard that chrome plating to breathe that in off welding fume is uh, uh, toxic to your health. So just as caution, I've always just ground the plating off. It just it makes it makes a lot more sense to do it that way. You just get a cleaner, better weld. No preheating is necessary. All you have to do is put a tack weld on both sides and then just fill it in with welding bead. Um, pretty simple. If it doesn't stick, say you have a cheap welder and you know you just really didn't get the penetration the first time around, it's easy. Easy peasy. Just grind it back clean again and just try to re-weld it. It's uh, really no big deal. So I'll get set up. I'll go ahead and weld this and then I will come back and uh, show you how we came along. Okay, everyone, here we are at the anvil. Completed twisted twisting wrench. Uh, these wrenches have a benefit that you can really take and twist a large different, a lot of different styles of stock. Using a wrench, you've already got a handle hole that says kind of like hang it from something. And, you know, it just, in generally, it makes for a nice wrench. Um, a nice twisting wrench over some of the other styles. Makes it pretty versatile, and that's really handy in a small shop. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and go into the last clip here. And the last clip is just going to be me twisting some 3 8 inch square stock. That's a pretty common size that a lot of people twist. And then, you know, I'll, I'll leave you there. But, thank you for watching this video. You know, let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. And, uh, 
you know, I greatly appreciate your feedback. And, you know, what's your favorite twisting wrench? I mean, that would be my question to you. You know, what style do you like to use the most? My personal favorite is the F wrench with, you know, the handle welded on. That's been my go-to for uh, nine years now. So uh, I use it all the time whenever I need something straightened or twist just right. So let me know what yours is in the comment section down below, and we'll catch you on the next video. Thank you for taking the time to watch. God bless you.